Ron, I want to move to a little bit of a delicate topic here because uh, some Christian leaders, in one case, the son of a Christian leader, and I think in a couple of cases, sons of Christian leaders, have committed suicide in recent months. How does the Sixth Commandment of the Ten Commandments relate to the issue of suicide? You do not feel that this is an unforgivable sin. Explain a little bit here. Well, you know, the Sixth Commandment says, you shall not murder, and this command is based upon God's creation of man, and there's a natural sanctity of human life, and because there is this natural sanctity of human life, God commands us not to murder. That doesn't just mean murder other people, but it also has to do with murdering yourself. Now, having said that, I like to be real careful when I talk about suicide, Jan, Mm -hmm. because I know there are people listening to my voice right now. Yes who have experienced it. And I have experienced someone close to me uh, as well. So we've Mm -hmm. all been there, at least most of us have. I do think that there were people tempted to commit suicide back in Bible times. I even think about the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 1, where he talks about uh, not wanting his followers to be ignorant because of their affliction, and they said that they despaired of life itself, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they did not succumb to suicide. And you know, Jan, I think that some people get so discouraged I think some people just get so downhearted and they see no answers to life that they just give up. It's not an unforgivable sin. There's nothing in Scripture that says it's an unforgivable sin. And it's my firm conviction that anybody who has trusted in Christ for salvation, and yet they have fallen into committing this sin, they are in heaven right now. And I believe, according to 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 17, that one day we will experience a reunion with them as well as all other Christian loved ones.